so we are at 40 uh, full sweep. Just a quick look from the front porch. And let's go on inside. I am here at about 4.30 in the afternoon and it's sort of a cloudy day, so it's a good day to see what the, oops, what the light looks like in here. Of course, you have the formal dining over on the left as you come in. Nice size uh, family room, great room here. With the, the uh, chessboard, a <laughs> little nook over on, on this side. Ceilings are all uh, scraped down. You have your powder room right here. Going into the master bedroom, this is the sitting area that's part of the master bedroom. I think that yeah, you have the linen closet here. And then the bedroom over over here. With access out to out to the back, which we'll look at in just a few minutes. Let me just step back and give you the full full look at this room. So you have have a dresser, the door over here, the two windows on either side of the bed, and then um, you actually have a little wall space here as well, if you needed it. Crown molding, and then crown molding in the in the sitting area, a little desk here, which you could take that out, and uh, and you know you could repurpose this whole wall if you really wanted to. Coming back into the closet, there's something here. I, it is locked, um, so I don't know if it, if that is another closet, but you do have a. The light's not working real well in this closet, but we have a walk-in closet here with the strobe light. I'm imagining it would make sense that this would be another closet over here. And then they've done the, the tile in the bathroom. They've left the tub, the soaking tub. We have the uh, plantation shutters. Nice tall ceiling. You have a little bit of something going on right here. But the, that could get checked out by the home inspector. The commode, shower. which you would probably want to re have redone. You might want to redo the, sh the shower and then maybe resurface this tub. And then a nice vanity, nice vanity and mirrors in here. Just another quick look in here. I do have lights. This will light up a little bit. Let's go look at the at the rest. So coming through the great room, you have some storage over here built into the wall. And then an, an eat-in area. There isn't a lip around here for, for seating, but you do have this nice dining area right here. And the kitchen, kitchen is a good size. The cabinets have, are sort of an off-white. They, they've been repainted, I think. Um, and honestly, they don't quite match up to, you can see they don't match, quite match up here. When you look at them, they're they're more of an off white, whereas these boards are a are a white white. So that may need to be dealt with eventually. Coming on over on this side of the house, you have a bedroom with a nice closet, nice big closet here.
good sized bedroom that looks out to the back. And then a smaller bath. This is definitely a small bath in here with a tub shower combo. Nothing real fancy in this room. Down the hall just a little bit is the next bedroom where they have this set up as a twin. Twin beds. They do have, have the plantation shutters in here. And then two good size closets and a similar size bath as what we just saw in the other bedroom. Again, just with a, a tub shower unit. The garage plenty of space in here and then the laundry has a laundry sink it's not huge but it actually has some nice storage in the laundry and then a laundry sink going up into this bedroom over the garage, this space over the garage. This is where I think, you know, you'd have to do a dormer out here, maybe out the front, although that might get a little bit more complex. But I think you could do a, a dormer out here that would have windows in it, that would have egress, and that would change change this room a bit. The ceilings are definitely sloped. Um, it, the, placing a bed in here would be a smidge awkward. I think that's going to be your best wall for a real bed. Unless, again, unless you did something in the front. This is the front. You'd have to come out uh, that way. You do have a closet in here. Good size closet. And then the bathroom. And the bathroom could use some more light, but it is, it's not real tall here. This space is not, you might hit your head here. but they did work in a, a, a shower. I'll try and step back and show you this. That would be my only concern in, in here, would be the head space. I'm not sure exactly how that could um, get rectified, but maybe, maybe doing the, uh, maybe do, doing a, a, a dormer might help the situation over there. We'd have to, have to kind of check that out. Let's go out back. Just trying to get some lights as I go here. Sounds like the pool, something's rumbling in the pool a little bit. So the highway is over there. And the noise is just a, 
kind of a it, it's it's not it's not I think you put music out here and and really you'd be fine or just people out here talking you're going to be fine I hear the HVAC or the heat from next door from the unit next door maybe around the corner here more than I hear the highway but this is this this is nice back here I just don't know if you'd be able to come off the back of this and do a big it'd have to be a big huge screen to come all the way down over here I'm I'm not real certain that that would um, really have any kind of possibilities, to be honest with you. As far as the backyard, it's a good sized backyard. Um, you come over, you come out to about, about here. And so it's a, a nice, nice back, backyard. I hope I'm, I'm getting this, getting what you need back here. And then over here you have, have your yard coming down to the lagoon. It's a gentle slope down there, but But enough to probably detract any anything from coming up up in into the yard roof looks great um, again I just don't think I, I think it's gonna be too much structure to to come over this pool but we will vet that out um, over the next few days so I hope this helps and I will talk to you soon <laughs>